Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm gonna try to show you at least uh, how to play Semu online and the only things you need for this is Semu, of course, a game that can support online such as Mario Kart 8, Mario Tennis, Super Smash Bros, etc. You get the idea. Semu, of course, the latest build, link down below and you actually need a Wii U this is very important all right um, because without a real one sorry but you can't do this um, but yeah okay let's get started because before we can actually do stuff on the Wii U we need a few files that you need to put onto an SD card all right so first of all these are the files that you need to put onto the SD card and uh, I will leave a link of the this whole package of all these folders as a zip file in the description as well. So what you've got on here is basically just a home brew launcher and stuff. And what you need to extract with that, well, I'll show you actually later. So let's start from the beginning, all right? So you plug in your USB. And as you can see, I already have mine on there. But first what you have to do is go to format and make sure it's FAT32, alright, because else your Wii U can read it, um, so yeah. Okay, so you just drag and drop the files from in here onto your SD card, and then you're set for uh, going to your Wii U for the first time, and uh, yeah, I'll show you why. From there, you get these two bin files, but I'm going to show you how to get them uh, now okay so you get your sd card right and you plug it into your wii u i can't really show you this well because i don't have a capture card for the wii u screen and i don't have a camera here right now um so i'm just gonna turn it on from the wii u gamepad basically what you do is you go to your browser on the Wii U gamepad. Alright, so the website that you see here is this website and the URL is u.drg.li. Alright, and then you go to this site and but on the Wii U, you do this on the Wii U while you have the SD card inserted. Alright, and you click on exploit or one, two, three, or four, or zero. And I don't know, it depends on which one works best for you. I'm just gonna click free. And uh, let's see what happens. He's gonna almost fall asleep down into the corner right there. So it's not going instant, but here he's gonna fall asleep. And the third time he goes up and down, it should show you this. It says Wii U. And then you should be in the homebrew launcher, all right? So that's what your Wii U um, gamepad says, but also your screen. So what you're gonna do first is go to Wii U NAND Dumper. If you can't find it, there's on the beginning, the first app is the HB App Store. You can find games, everything there, right? That's for another video. Uh, comment down below if you want that. For now, we're going to the Wii U NAND D Dumper. You just click load and it's giving you these options. Dump SLC, SLC, MPT, MLC, OTP, and CPROM. Now, we only need OTP and CPROM, if I'm right. So, do those yes and the rest no, alright? For now, I'm going to show you how it would look. So, to be clear, only the last ones, the last two, should be, should be on yes, alright? So, CPROM and OTP. So, you just click, uh, click A, basically. It just did it actually. I'm gonna try to control my focus myself because it works better that way. So yeah, it goes back. It just dumped it. So what you just do here is just turn off the Wii. I don't care how, you can force it, you know, whatever. Get your SD card, go back to your PC. Also keep in mind with the website, it might uh, just freeze a lot of times. I had to try this at least five or 10 times until it worked. So when it freezes, you just hold the power button on the Wii U itself and it will 
shut off and just try the whole thing again. So you might want to bookmark u.drg.li or just keep it in your head, alright? Because you may want to reboot because it's not that easy a first try, so... Okay, so what you will see here is that we have otp and cprom.bin, right? So we'll keep those here for now. I'm gonna delete them from my SD because I've already got them off. Okay, now for this step, this step was a bit harder for me, but uh, I made it to fix. Um, you go back and grab your... Alright. You go back and grab your SD card because you dumped those two bin files. You go back, as I said, and you just plug the SD back into your Wii U. Now you boot up the Wii U, turn on the screen, of course, and what you're gonna do is go back to the browser as normal, and it will open internet browser. And for me, it already uh, automatically uh, loads the site, but if not, u.drg.li, all right? Okay, so when you're in the site again, just click exploit again. I don't care which one you choose. Number three was good for me. So now we wait again. The guy starts to fall asleep. And then it will load. Okay, so now you just wait. And we're back. As you can hear by the amazing music. Okay, so what you need for this is FTP IIU, but not this one. It has to be FTP YYU everywhere. Remember, not the normal one. If you don't have it, go to the first one and search the HB App Store, all right? Okay, so if you have that, you first need Mocha CFW. Only this one, the bottom one. So you tap that and load it. You'll have another one of these menus, right? So from there on, you have to have it set like this. So the only things that are on are don't relaunch OS, launch system menu. Then you just click A and it will go back to the Wii U menu, the, the actual Wii U menu, okay? Okay, so you're in your normal Wii U menu, you think, what, what's this? Don't do anything yet, just open Me Maker. So as you can see, it says Me Maker, but instead of opening Me Maker, it opens Homebrew Lounger. And don't worry, as soon as you turn off the Wii U and turn it on, it's gone, so you can make your me still, don't worry about it. Okay, so what you can do now is start FTP IIU everywhere. So you tap on it, click load, and it says that it's now listening on the selected port for your uh, device. So what we're gonna do now, you can choose from WinSCP or FileZilla. And what you're gonna do is uh, go to new site, basically, okay? And then you're you're gonna put in the IP that your Wii U says, so 192, and then the, the two dots with the number behind that is the port number, and you wanna click anonymous login. So then you'll log in. So you'll see things start popping up on your Wii U. And then you can actually access this. So the things you'll need, this is important. Things you're gonna need, okay. Go to storage MLC, click system. Also, you'll notice that on the Wii U while you're clicking stuff, it's happening stuff as well. So click title and it will do stuff on your Wii U as well. Okay, now this is, now you have to pay attention. Click 0, 0, 0, 005. 0, 0, 001 B. Okay, now pay attention again. 1005400000. Zero, 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 zero. Then you go to content. Okay, so now you have C certs and S certs. You wanna select them both, go to the folder you wanna paste them on, and just drag them on here. You can see on the Wii as well, a lot of stuff is 
happening and transferring. I've already did this, all right? It won't take that long. It's very easy. So you have like two folders right here. Those are these two. Now you see that there's also an account.dat file, all right? That's very important because that's basically your account. Sorry, I had to crop my, my webcam. <laughs> all right, so to get this one, you have to go here. Go a few back till you see sys and user or USR. Go to USR, then to save, then to system, then act. Then there should be more folders depending on how much stuff or what accounts. But you have to go to 8000001. You have to double click that. And then there's an account.dat file. That's the one you want to transfer to your folder where you keep all the things I've mentioned or just your desktop. It will be the same thing, all right? So it's just boom and it's gone. You just copied it. You can close this down, okay? Then on the Wii U, it should say client disconnected. You can't really read it probably, but client disconnected. And then you can click the home button on your Wii U. You'll be in the homebrew launcher. If you click it again, you're in Me Maker. You can turn off your Wii U. You're done with that step, all right? So for all the things with your Wii U, you're done. You can take out the SD card, lay it somewhere. I don't know. You're done with that now, okay? Because you already got your OTP and CPROM that we already dropped. So, last things you need to do is you have to look up your SEMU, okay? So, here I got a fresh SEMU 1.11.5 for now the latest version. So what I'm going to do now is here is all our files we got from this small adventure and here's your fresh CMU. So you go to MLC01, go to sys, title the 005001B, then you should make a new folder called 1005400. Okay, now you open that, just make a content folder, and now in here, you copy these two. I'm not want to move them, I want to copy them. You can move them, but yeah, that's what you need for there. Now in the main folder, you're gonna uh, copy and paste the CPROM and the OTP bin files. Okay, so now the account.dat file needs to be in MLC01, USR, save. Gotta make a system folder, open that. Make an act folder, open that, make a 8000001 zero, 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 Alright, I know that's a lot of zeros and ones, I have to double check this Okay, yeah, that's good So you open that, and there you copy your account.dat file, and then you're done The only thing you need to do, is open SEMU Go to Options, Experimental, Enable Online Mode. Warning, please be aware that online mode lets you connect to official Nintendo servers. Therefore, there's a risk of getting banned. I haven't, uh, you probably won't. Just, just keep that in mind, alright? 